Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, I got those top rails all cut and notched and I'm ready to put the fish plates on them so I can get them tacked up. I'm putting the fish plates on them because if I just start welding on the gaps, it's going to shrink and it's going to pull and it's going to twist this thing all over the place. If I weld the fish plates on, the fish plates will keep it from pulling. At least I hope. Should take care of most of it and I might have to kink it a little bit to make it all fit exactly right, but it should be pretty good. Bending an angle iron is, uh, it can be done. Uh, I really don't want to take the time to build the jigs to do the actual bending and heating it and forging it is just, it's a lot of work. Notching, welding, fairly quick, fairly easy. We'll see just how well I do at it though. It's been a long time since I welded. I only weld about three times a year now, so my skill set's not where it used to be. Another good reason for welding gloves, I just grabbed a hold of really hot spots on this thing. If I hadn't had the welding gloves on, it probably would have burned my hands pretty good. I have these two rails welded, clamped up back to back so that they maintain a similar shape. They're not going to be exactly perfect, but they're going to be close enough that they'll be able to hold the rails in the proper orientation. I want to have these two rails come up parallel to this section and we'll see how that comes out. I like this wire welder. It's just a point and shoot kind of thing. able to make a good enough bead to hold things together. And that's really the point of the exercise is to have it hold together when you're done. The wire stuck. Didn't have it quite grounded well enough so it made a poor connection and didn't heat the wire high enough to actually start an arc. So I have to clip off the end of the wire and start over. Fish plates welded on.
Well, that was definitely a cobble job. I got a pretty good toe in on that thing. I'm going to have to put a kink in here. It pulled. Despite my best efforts, it pulled. That's okay. A little bit of work with a hydraulic press. I can take most of that out of it. Just put a kick right here at the end on both of these. It'll be just fine. It's been a long day and I got the welding done, which was the big job for today. It didn't take very long to do. A lot of setup involved in it. I had to cut the fish plates and get those put on and clamped up. After this cools a little bit and I can manage it a little bit better, I'll take it over in the press and straighten out those kinks. See if I can't get the, the tails to come out parallel, because that's where the seat goes. And I want to have that frame straight there so that the seat slides back and forth evenly. So, getting there. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.